Looking at 13-year-old Christopher Boy doing PE lesson, one would easily assume he's just one of the boys. But Christopher isn't your typical Singaporean student. Dr. Sasi Ponalago isn't your typical Singaporean teacher either. My name is Sasi Kumar. I came to Singapore in India. In 2007, both Christopher and Dr. Sasi did something that would change their lives forever. Christopher became a Singapore permanent resident and Dr. Sasi became a Singapore citizen. But coming to Singapore was something both had not planned for. I'm doing the PhD in, in India University. In some Singaporean Tamil teachers come, uh, come there and take the degree courses. Apa Singapore ini orang Tamil asli orang yang ada degree ni kerap, apa nama orang lek soli kuruk kuriya sulun lah yang dicuci. Apa anda Tamil asli orang yang Singapore lah Tamil asli orang kanan wipe gelir ke, ni niinggalan wara kuda deh, apa ini soli soli orang, orang application kuruk tangga, anda sementara apply pun terapai, anda Singapore lah anda bela kerja cuci. We visited Singapore. Uh, because I want to visit my cousins, which I've never met them before. And when I visited them, the Singapore was very clean and green. So I like Singapore. I think it is during Chinese New Year, so they brought us to the Chinatown, and we saw so many like decorations and so many uh, people watching uh, the dragon dance or line dance. So like, I kind of find it like very fun. When we went back to Myanmar, I encouraged my parents to like migrate to Singapore, like study there. And my father agreed as the education in Singapore is more advanced than Myanmar. That was in January 2006. In April that same year, Christopher found himself in a primary three class in Ballester Hill Primary School. He was naturally apprehensive on his first day of school. I usually stay behind my mom, mother, and my mother used uh, went to the teacher in charge to ask for my class. Then my new form teacher came and greet me. Then I nervously shake her hand. But that was just the beginning of a period of adjustment. Even though Christopher studied English at an international school in Myanmar, he still had problems interacting with his schoolmates. When I first came to Singapore, they think that uh, I cannot speak good English. And you should be uh, good work. I was the one only left behind, so the teacher like appointed me to a group and asked me, asked one of the students to like guide me. In, in Burma, I was primary five, and when I came to Singapore, it was primary three. So like, I can like catch up with all the works. Huh? So I get all bang one except for Chinese. Huh? Yeah, it's a little bit challenging as like. Literature is a new subject to me as I never learned before, so literature, I find it a little bit hard to like catch up. And for English, the hearing is a little bit hard for me. And for maths, it's okay because like, I always call Ben one for maths. Like Christopher, Dr. Sasi also had some teething problems in the classroom. The Tamil teacher at Boon Lay Secondary School realized that how he was taught in school back in India was not how students here are taught. Armatla and the India Portalana, Padicha the Lame Tamil Moli, Elekium, I will PhD Mother Tamil Elekitla, Sanjana, Angulum communication language, Angulum with the Serum Marnici, and a Nala and Allah had one day Palakamarici, other than a Makarte, Pia communicate Panapo, the Mari Punjurungo, other one day on the Puller and the Vandanga, communication problem, other care pong on the Nampaknya bandar supporti wa, orang yang irkid irkid itu nala, nampaknya bandar itu communication language language bandar itu percuma yang rendah dikali ada. The 35-year-old who also lectures part-time at the Singapore Institute of Management had to learn to make his classes interactive and engaging using videos and team-building activities. Time passes when one is having fun. What started out as a two-and-a-half-year teaching contract became a life-changing move. 
Dr. Sasi found himself becoming a PR in 2003 and a citizen in 2007. அதனால் இப்போ சமீபத்தில் இந்திய பல்கலைக்கழகத்தில் வந்து பேராசிரியருக்கான பணிக்கான வாய்ப்புகள் வந்தும் எனக்கு அங்கே போக மனசில்லை அது காரணம் வந்து பணம் மட்டும் கிடையாது எனக்கு சிங்கப்பூரோட வாழ்க்கை சூழல் வாழ்க்கை முறை வேலை சூழல் வேலை பார்க்கிற இடங்களில் உள்ள அந்த சிஸ்டம் பெர்ஃபார்மன்சஸ் எல்லாமே எனக்கு பிடிச்சதுனால எனக்கு இப்போ இந்தியாவுக்கு திரும்ப ஒரு நல்ல வாய்ப்பு கிடைச்சி போச்சோன்னா கூட என்னால் போக முடியாது சிங்கப்பூரை விட்டு அப்படின்னு நான் நினைக்கிறேன் Perhaps in a few years time Christopher would share the same sentiments as Dr Sasi already he has not just fallen in love with Singapore but also with the food I like Singapore food very much especially the yao tau fu and chicken rice because chicken rice is like a uh, very I don't know how to describe it but it's very nice my parents were planning to stay here and they say that uh, my education is the first need and so like they want me to send to the the best school uh, so that I can be a, like my father to be a doctor they may come from different walks of life from different parts of the world but like many foreigners who come here for work or study they connect it with the culture the lifestyle the people the language so much so that it's hard to leave they are proud to call singapore home i like singapore